All right then, hello everyone. Welcome back to more Splatoon 3 story mode. Picking up right where we left off, going straight into level four. This one actually has an entry fee, funnily enough. So I guess maybe it's not as much of a normal level as I thought, we'll see. Oh, okay. Well, oh, I just, yeah, none of them are the base weapon and it's recommending the slosher. Oh, uh, sure. Slosher can break several targets all at once. Has long range, you can break far off targets. A splatling that can recharge while firing. Can recharge while firing. I don't know, I know nothing about the Nautilus. I don't know anything. I haven't had any explanations on it from Sheldon or anything. We'll do the try one, I suppose. Slosher is one of my favorite weapons, so I'm fine using it first. Break the targets to reach the goal. Break the targets. Okay, that unlocked a ride rail. Sweet, hop on, Agent 3. Oh, this is this level that I've seen people attempt to beat without using a weapon. Well, only bombs. Interesting. Okay, thank goodness. Interesting music. Come on. Excuse me. Oh no! Why wouldn't it let me hit it? That's not fair. Come on, Agent 3. Oh, I see the benefit of getting far off targets now. Goodness me. That shouldn't have been as hard as it was. Oh, already final checkpoint. Goodness me. I guess they can't really give a lot of checkpoints in this one. It's all ride rails. Oh, oh no. Okay. Oh. Excuse me. Oh no. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to use my burst bomb or something. I'm already almost out of lives. I'm out of fucking- I'm- I'm out of ink already! I'm out- I'm dead! Gotta spend money to retry from the checkpoint. Oh my goodness. Try this with the slosher. This shouldn't be the recommended weapon. What are, are, oh my goodness, what is this? This is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm getting angry <laughs> already. Oh no. Well, you're fast, oh yeah, yeah huh? Now you give me a good job. Come on. I, that was got way too much health. What am I supposed to do? Get good, I suppose. This is ridiculous. What am I supposed to do? Oh no. This is just going to be a rage compilation of me failing this one over and over again. Ah! 
how are you supposed to hit that one? This is just gonna be me dying over and over again. How am I supposed to hit it? Why? It has so much health! What am I supposed to do? People are beating this without using their weapon. You can't hit it. I didn't think we'd be getting to be raging on- <laughs> uh, Raging this quickly. Okay, maybe I'll need to come back. When I have got received a ink capacity upgrade or something. Oh, now I finally break it. After I'm dead. Alright, if I can't do it this time, I'm gonna need to come back with an upgrade because this is ridiculous. I'm gonna need to hit every single shot and not miss once. And even if I do never miss, it doesn't matter, because I can't do enough damage to it quick enough. Like, I'm sure I could do this with some of the other weapons, but... Goodness me. What? what? You just can't hit it! I'm changing weapon, that's ridiculous. That shouldn't be that hard. Try this, screw you. Why is that the try this? That's harder. Look how easily you can do it. When you're using literally any other weapon. Why is the try this on the slosher? I'm angry that the recommended one is the hardest one. Like, come on. That should not be the case. Look how easy that is. I'm angry that that is that. This is this easy now with this weapon. Compared to the slosher, which is apparently the recommended one. Get off. Although... See, look at that. That should not have been as hard as it was, and that was like literally right at the end too. That's the end, you did it. At what cost? At what cost, Callie? <sighs> I'm definitely gonna need to like, get an upgrade or something for like more ink capacity, because there's no damage upgrade. But I've run out of ink way too fast, that's, if something feels wrong with it, maybe I'm just being a little baby about it, but like, I swear something feels broken there. Like, I shouldn't be having that much trouble.
Why is the try this on the hardest one? That makes no sense. Oh, I see. So you can start charging it back up again before it's fully depleted. All right. I didn't know it could do that. Easy peasy. It's literally just the slosher that's like, for some reason, broken. See, like, look at that. Why is the try this? <laughs> I'm gonna keep saying it over and over again. Why is the try this option on the hardest one? That makes no sense. Like, I'm not at all good with these other two weapons, and I did it first try for both of them. Recreating the Earth they had once known. Of course, not even scientists are immune to nostalgia. The humans began constructing large-scale 3D printing operations. Okay. When is the next incapacity? It's all the way up here. That's why- oh my gosh, I need two more Sardinium. Like, one to open up this, and then another one to open up that before I can get more ink tank capacity. And then that's the only other upgrade for it, aside from, like, the first one. So if I can't get it after getting that, then, like, that's it. it has gotta be something in here, right? Because you don't get small fry. You have to use burst bombs. Yeah, literally none of these upgrades help. <laughs> it's just this one that I would need. And I can't get that right now. Goodness me, that's really annoying. All right, well, I guess let's look around the map right now to see if we can find some Sardinium. What have you found, little buddy? It's just eggs, I guess. That is more eggs. Can't have too many, I suppose not. Okay, it's just covering this up. Oh, there you go, EXP ticket. For the lobby, or for the whole crew. There's a lot of eyes. I mean, I, I would assume there would be a fair amount, you know? More the further we progress. Eggs. CD. I, 
I didn't open that one. Oh, that's the one I just had access to, I guess. What have we found? Oh, just this. Come on, where's the sardinium? I guess we can open that up and sneakily super jump to it, I suppose. Let's see what's up here first. Let's just open up as much as we can. Desperately try to find some sardinium. Oh, goodness. This isn't the time for this. Eat this real quick, <laughs> so I can get through. <sighs> oh no, they're going away. Oh, what do you want? Eggs, that's it. Here we go, here's a shortcut back here. Let's see what this is. Getting lost in three easy steps. Navigate the maze to reach the goal with the 0.96 gal. And this one was the ink conservation project. To reach the goal without running out of ink, oh boy. One of those old amiibo missions. Yeah, five, and then six, seven, eight. I can see why that one ended up being a special one, the target one, goodness me. Things up. The conservation project getting lost in three easy steps is where I am right now. Okay. Good to be opening up these. Let's try this balloon again, shall we? on now. What's over here? Oh, where are you going? All the way back to the start. And it's a story scroll. Nice. That was worth it. Grisco Industries Occupational Safety Guidelines. Keep your eggs in the game. I'll try to grab one more. Could end with one less of you. Okay, keep your eggs in the game. I'll try to grab one more. Could it end with one less of you? Sea goes dark, tide goes up. Okay, well you can also just check the thing at the bottom that shows you what tide it is. ACB, always check the basket. Throw eggs, don't yoke around. Okay, so just some random tips for Salmon Run, which are... Basic, keep your eggs in the game. Like, what would... Let's just keep your head in the game, I guess. I don't know. I'll try to grab one more. Could always could end with one less if you so yeah. Be careful. Don't be greedy with eggs if it means you might die. Sea goes dark, tide goes up. Just check the tide meter at the bottom. There's no need to look at the actual ocean. Always check the basket. I mean, yeah, you should check how many eggs you have. Throw eggs, don't look around. Absolutely prioritize throwing eggs. Like the holographicness of the or that's the multicolors of the Salmon in the on this thing. Quite nice. Okay. Uh I guess we can open up this. It's only a hundred. We've got way too much eggs to spare right now, so. Oh there you go, there's a sardinium. Gimme. Uh Super recovery up gets black bombs, small fry ink saver. I mean, I don't really need this one, but I need the ink tank capacity up. So I'll get this if it means I can get this. Decrease the amount of ink consumed when throwing small fry. Not a big deal. I never really felt like it was much anyway. Increases mobility when walking through enemy ink. Improves mobility. Never really a big problem because I'm usually inking the ground a lot, but why not? 
Okay, the second we get another Sardinium, we're immediately getting this. Also, I just realized these aren't one long column. These are separate. So it's a good thing I went for this first. Otherwise, I would have potentially made a big mistake. Okay, so that's definitely way more Sardinium than I thought you needed. Because this is all one thing and these are all one and this all one. But for some reason, I saw these three as all one long column. I guess that makes more sense with how much more Sardinium you need. But okay, yeah, definitely. Please find me some more Sardinium. Okay, hasn't shown up here yet, so I, there's definitely still more to find. We're just going to open up as many of these as we can. This, uh, yeah, this just leads up here to where we could already go before. Uh, we can step up here. Okay, well, I guess go for this. Ah, uh, it's another story scroll. Back to back. Oh, hello. Oh, whoa. It like changes when you move it. It's one of these kinds of things. Where it changes where you look at it, but it's definitely more clear here <laughs> as opposed to looking at it in real life where you can kind of see all the images at once. It's blurry. Uh, the lobby I've built doesn't have a single standout feature because everything in there is feature worthy. If you don't have the greatest turf war experience ever, I'll eat the smaller of my two claws. Glenn Fiddler, President and CEO of what? Doesn't say the company. Okay, so this is the guy that made the new lobby for this game. Well, thank you very much. It's a very nice lobby compared to the previous games where it was just a screen. As opposed to being able to walk around and test things out in it like you can now. I mean, I could probably already unlock the next world if I looked at the price requirement. Nothing here, little buddy. How many more of these are there? There's one over there and there's a couple down here. And then there's the big one over there. So yeah, we've already almost cleared out the whole area. Nothing. Nothing at all. Now there's a ticket for money. For the group. This isn't what I want. Oh. I was going to say, is there nothing over here? Another story scroll. And little buddy apparently found something. Oh my goodness. What <laughs> what is this? For the inklings and octolings of the Splatlands, aggressive action is the best way to make a splash in the local scene. Youths will often dress themselves in the style of a delinquent or a hooligan or hooligan to intimidate peers during combative courtship rituals known as rumbles. Dress themselves in a style of delinquent or hooligan in to intimidate peers during combative courtship rituals known as rumbles. So we've got two dudes beating up, a, two big Octarian dudes beating up a poor little regular one on top of his little, his stand and he's fallen over. Or they did beat him up and he just fell over and now they're just standing next to him to intimidate him. And then a big Chad 
like Jotaro looking. <laughs> Octarian shows up to scare them away. And saves the little one that got beat up, I guess. It's interesting. <laughs> I like it. And little buddy has apparently found something. What's he found? Another record. I can't really go up there. I already did that one. Oh, uh, well, I guess there's just this one, and then I might be screwed <laughs> if I can't find any more. Sardinium. Goodness me. What an embarrassment. The amount of times I lost that mission. Like, it shouldn't have been that hard. I mean, I guess I can applaud them for making difficult missions, but at the same time, like, why is it so hard? <laughs> it's a little early for that, don't you think? Okay, I'm gonna need to do some tricky maneuvering to get around. Nothing. Just a way back over here. Okay. Uh, this is probably my last hope then. Oh, thank goodness. Thank you. Oh, give me this ink tank capacity up. Make sure I got the right one. Please. I need that ink. And then while I'm here, might as well get the special charge up. Whew, okay. Okay, well then, for the next upgrades, we can either save up and then get the better hero shot. Or we can get one of these smaller ones, which I don't think will be too necessary. I don't really care about getting the extra bombs. I'd rather have the better hero shot. Okay. Well, while we're here, might as well get this. There's a lot of cheap ones. There hasn't really been any big expensive ones. Interestingly enough. Small cards. Okay. Well, let me just see how much this one is just to see. What they expect of you, 2,000. Another capsule. It's a stereo. Or it's a stereo, right? A speaker. All right. Bunch of stuff over here. That I apparently haven't explored. Let's see if little buddy shall uncover stuff. I mean, we're running around. Might as well look for secrets, I suppose. Oh, there we go. Another capsule. Hey, the thinker. Nice. Look at all these upgrade points we're getting. That's everything over there. Let's jump over here. Completely finishing up the map way earlier than we did for the first area. Despite this one having a boss and the other one not. Oh, what do you know? <laughs> that was completely on accident. Uh, that's everything. Let's jump back over here. Where are the secrets, little man? I'm in the right area. Just barely. Where are you going, boy? Oh, 
that's weird. I fell off. Plus L plus ratio. I'm not taking a break, Marie. Hmm. It's not like up there, is it? Where would it be? Why is he running that way? It's not where the secret is, is it? Because it looked like he was trying to run away from it. Hmm. Should I open it? Maybe. Is this what it wants me to look at? Like, is this the last secret? The future stares back. Fight your way to the exit. Oh. Oh. Is it not a, even a boss? It might not be. Oh, well, that was a big chunk of that. Okay, well, at least I can super jump back up to it if I need to. I would think maybe it would be in like the middle or something, right? Okay, here we go. So that was what was tripping me up is that it was two separate areas combined. Okay, this is a cross section of a kidney I, I think, so the other one was probably an organ as well? The, uh, that other weird one that I got? Ugh, oh, that's weird. And yeah, that's everything. Okay, well there you go, it's got a... Like a boss symbol on it. So I would assume that's a boss. But alright. Let's see if we can do this now. <laughs> If not, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Hopefully the more ink will save me. Because what's screwing me up is the fact that I have to stop for a second to charge up my ink, but then that makes me go faster. Not to mention the depth perception is really weird for some reason. Oh, come on. <laughs> I got it. And it's still... Mm. See, sometimes they only take one shot and sometimes they take like t three. Maybe I just need to aim more horizontally. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Maybe someone will look at this and be like, Oh, what an idiot. Don't even know how to aim. See, why do those ones take way more shots? I don't even know if there's some, like, strategy to this or what. Now I'm like screwed because I'm okay. I was gonna say I'm not gonna be able to hit that. See, look at this. I'm running out of ink so fast. <laughs> Just never throw bombs. Never ever. Do not touch the bomb button at any point in your entire career. Please, where is the consistency? Oh, thank God. I'm gonna assume that that extra ink tank was the reason I could do that. That was ridiculous. 
It's going to be so annoying looking back on this and seeing how angry I got. Thank goodness I was able to get exactly the upgrades I needed to get through that mess because goodness me, that was ridiculous. That should not have been that tough. All right. We did finish everything in the first world, well, the first site. And then we've done everything up to five. So now let's go for getting lost in three easy steps. So I guess if we look at the kettles. Yeah, there's like four ones there that were free and then all the rest were paid. And then this one is like three free and then a bunch of paid ones. And then the boss, which is also free. Let's I only have to beat this one once. I feel like I've been going for a lot longer than I had been. Those losses made it feel like it was a long time, but I guess not. This mission will test your innate sense of direction. Navigate the maze to reach the goal. Okay, no special. Should be able to beat enemies fairly quickly with the gal. Because those weapons are pretty strong. <laughs> I wonder, is he here to stop people from cheating? <laughs> Use your innate sense of direction. Bruh, you could just walk on top. Just like Breath of the Wild. How are you supposed to get that? Is the door supposed to close somehow, or...? Goodness knows. I was about to open the map, like I was on the hub world or something. Yeah, how are you supposed to get those? Assuming there's some change later on that I'm unaware of. It would make sense if there's some sort of change that stops you from climbing the walls too, because I mean, it's not really a maze if you can just <laughs> get on top of the walls. I mean, it is a maze, it's just a very easy one. Like, why are the walls inkable, I guess, is my question. And why do they have stuff there that you can't get? Okay. Just taking damage. Almost just walked off. Um. PlayStation triangle button. Hit a Nintendo game. Aha! The whole maze has gone vertical. Blah. Well then, so you have to climb back up by swimming? You have to swim all the way back? Or swim all the way back up? Now I see how you're supposed to get those. Shouldn't be too hard. I like this. This is an interesting concept. Answers the question of how to get these.
Hmm. Ah, you... It's okay. We're good. Okay. Whoops. I didn't mean to go all the way up here. Accidentally solved the maze when I wanted to get the thing over here, but I guess I can probably just land on this, right? Also, apparently there's eggs up here. It's interesting. Okay, now I'm back here. Oh, I guess I was supposed to go up there. I don't know. Any eggs over here? Nope, just on the other side. Okay. Great swim. I mean, climb. I mean, swam. That see, that one was much more easy, and you know, relaxing. I guess relieving. I don't know. I'm relieved to have gotten that other difficult one done. This one is like, oh, wow, much more of a walk in the park. <laughs> Way easier. All right. Uh, <laughs> hey, Moai heads, nice. Oh, that's why they look 3D printed. It's because they are 3D printed. That makes sense. Oh my goodness. I was like, what's with this weird texture they have? They, uh, like, I wasn't, I couldn't quite, I wasn't thinking too hard about it, but I couldn't quite think about, oh, what's this weird texture remind me of? 3D printing, because that's what it is. Interesting. This allowed them to recreate some of humanity's favorite artifacts within the confines of Alterna. Well, there you go. Mystery solved. Okay, so yeah, this place is man-made, I guess. Taking a step back and... ...saying stuff from scrolls we saw ages ago. The Ink Conservation Project. Oh, goodness, I have to use a blaster and not run out of ink? Oh, goodness. This could be very tricky. Considering earlier I was doing levels where I was using the blaster and I was running out of ink very consistently. Oh boy. Test your resourcefulness. You must use a limited amount of ink to reach the goal. Been a while since we've had one of these missions. Since like Splatoon 1 I want to say. Okay, there's already some ink here. Oh, there you go. Guess you can't refill your ink here. And they have a meter at the top to show, which is nice. Hear that? Don't waste any ink. Okay, I won't. And it shows, yeah, your max is less than the maximum, I guess, because they're not accounting for up an upgrade. What do you think will happen if you shoot the middle ink wheel? Gosh, ahoy, sighted just ahead. Okay. Should probably get up there quickly. No! I think I've already lost. Okay, I can't take it slow here. Now that's a lot of splat switches. Oh dear, gonna be tough to ink them all. Yep. Yeah. Okay, I gotta figure out the best path to get all of them. So, top right goes left, down, right, up, left, down, right. Okay, just go for the top right one then. I should definitely have already wasted one shot more than I should have. These things are familiar to the thing that unfurls, but they're different. Okay, I gotta hit the balloon when it's in the right spot. Not like that.
Hey, watch those ink levels. I'm trying. I'm running real low. Oh no, how am I going to get the thing at the end? Careful, you're almost dry. I've definitely wasted too many shots after that ink wheel. Oh, 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 come on. I didn't think I'd have to chase after it. No! And there goes your ink. Mission failed, you ran out. Oh, excuse me? They pull the Octo Expansion stuff. All right. All right. Excuse you. I mean, I already wasted one by screwing this up. Get me out of there. I'm not ready to be chasing after these things. Yeah, well, I already missed that. There we go, that's more like it. Alright, I have to like chase after this thing. After that ink wheel, I'm definitely not <laughs> staying behind now. Okay, yeah, it's not too bad, just gotta be ready for it. Fun mission though. Yeah, usually, you know, they will make the level in mind with the fact that you need to be real careful with your shots. But yeah, I was just not expecting to have to run that much that quickly and like chase after stuff. Uh, favorite artifacts. Additionally, they created a robust information management system designed to indelibly record all of humanity's precious knowledge. Okay. I'm guessing that's what this is, the computer. Okay, next is switching things up. Zooming through these levels. This one all the way down here is like the last level before the boss. Hit the splat switches to reach the goal. One weapon. Special mission. We can probably get this one done and then go for the boss. Splat bomb. In this mission you'll be playing hide and switch to create a path that reaches the goal. Thank goodness the admission fees aren't too... Expensive. Not oh, these kinds of switches, I see. Hey, come back, Power Pack! Wow, that entire block just took off, huh? It's all the way up there now. <laughs> What do you do? Whoa! Aha! Inking those splat switches will send each block off to join its friends. Okay, I see. Create a path by getting all the ones in the level. Yeah, they can't even hit me from there, because they have just the, the shots that dribble. Rather than, like, shooting afar. Off it goes. I love how long range this weapon is. Off it goes. Oh, I see, it's gonna make a, a ladder.
Oh, they're on the ceiling. Yeah, those are the more dangerous ones, because they shoot a stream rather than just a blob. And they shoot two of them. Oh, okay, I see. Gotta be careful about that one. Oh, <laughs> listen to that labored breathing. Sounded like a dude who they just put a filter over, which I mean is how they voice act all the characters in these games, but it definitely sounded more like a... Like a, just a dude. He didn't even shoot that far. And he had a little hat on. Now what? I guess I missed some. Along the way. But where were they? It's not this one. Is it? No. Maybe some earlier ones. No. Something on the ceiling, maybe? Oh, there we go. Nice hiding spot, tricky switches. We're not done, where's the last one hiding? Uh, oh, there it is. Yeah, I wasn't looking at the ceiling. There, that's all of them, right? Oh, I see. Don't forget, hold B while swimming to do a squid surge. You heard us, surge on up there. This would be probably one of the only times it's worth it. Beautiful. Yes, we got the power egg pack back. Well, that was fun. <laughs> nice level. Definitely <laughs> needed to look up at the ceilings more. That's my fault. <laughs> yeah, we probably have time for the boss. Um, humanity's precious knowledge. Such a system would naturally require, require some sort of record keeper. A computer that could autonomously observe and record data. Okay. That's every everything done. Aside from the boss. Let's go. The future stares back. Fight your way to the exit. Let's go. We're getting the boss done. I was supposed to do one last episode, but I didn't realize there wouldn't be a boss at the end of Site 1. Now we have one, hopefully, unless I'm wrong again. Unauthorized personnel prohibited beyond this point. Oh? Interesting. I guess. Just get some special meter up early. Let's see what this is, I suppose. I'm getting a strong reading up ahead. It might be great. Right, go check it out, Agent. Go check it out, Agent 3. Oh, this is definitely a boss. Not so fast. You're pretty tough, I can tell. How about this? You call it quits, join my crew, and we'll split the treasure. Bah, 
Ah, you want to resolve this Splatland style, huh? Fine by me. Dance battle to the death. Dance. Eels, get your wriggly butts out here. She's got the... Oh my goodness, the eel deal fry. Hop, hop, hop. Let's dance. Oh goodness. Ready or not, here we come. Okay, we're having a cube again. A staple of the story mode. Mix it up. It's 100 eel vision. Oh goodness. Yeah, what gives? Okay. Take a hit, like an eel. Don't fly back at me. If you beat up the mass eels, they'll hit her instead of you. Yo, let's go. We get to beat up Fry. Don't even need to tell me twice. All right, all right, not bad. You ready to feel the pain? Now watch this. Second dance, more a whirlpool. Grind this fool into paste. <laughs> Throw it at him, not me. Whew. You threw my balance off. Go now, Agent Three. That's fun though. It's straight up, you just get to shoot the idols. That's crazy. <laughs> Hey, you think you could treat my eels like shrimp? Wrong, no, uh All you did was wake us up, oh boy. It reminds me of the... I'm firing up moray power, good luck. Um, it reminds me of the eels from Mario 3D World. Great moray transformation, final dance. Oh my goodness. What gives? Mix it up. 100 eel vision. Don't hit me. Throw it at him, not me! Now's your chance! Okie donk. Grr, you're way stronger than you look! But you haven't heard the last of Deep Cut! Bet you'll miss me, ha! Oh, she blew up her own thing. Interesting, she's using eels of all things. Cause wasn't she supposed to be like a vampire squid or something? Is Shiva going to use sharks? Well, that was certainly an interesting boss. <laughs> what I've expected. What I have come to expect from Splatoon, but definitely unique and new. Reading was coming from this thing while we fought for it, so nab it anyway. Grab. Just test back. What is this thing? Wait, did I just get three Sardinium from beating that? Or maybe it won't be as <laughs> long until getting the full upgrade tree as I thought. Phew, that was some great work, Agent 3, and you got this thing, but not Gramps. It's treasure, or at least I think that's what it is. We can keep it here for now. Copy, do you copy? Over. Anyone listening? Do you read me? Over. It's Gramps. Gramps, where are you right now? Kelly Marie, my darlings, you're okay. Yep, we're A-OK. -okay. Wait, we should be asking if you're okay. Are you okay, Gramps? Oh, sure. I mean, I'm locked in some kind of dark room, which I guess ain't exactly ideal. I'll see if I can break out. Over. Don't do anything too rash. We're tracking your signal right now and on our way. Call us if anything happens. Phew! I'm so glad he's okay. Come on, let's take a look at the new readings from his signal. 
Agent 3, if you wanted to go back to a previous kettle, just open the menu. It might be useful at some point. Uh, what is this, like, mega blocks looking thing? I don't know, are we- I would assume it looks like a helicopter? Or a vehicle of some kind, so I don't know, are we gonna build like a- A vehicle to fly us back out or something? And like, not use the rocket? I'm assuming the bad guy is using the rocket to try and leave this place, right? Whoever the bad guy might be. And then... We're building a device to get us out, while also stopping the bad guy from using the rocket. That's what I'm guessing. Yeah, sure enough, they gave us three Sardidium for that. Okay, well that's quite good. Uh, I'll hold on to- I'll hold on to it, so that I can buy the better hero shot. Because that'll probably be the best one to get as soon as possible, since that's like, the best upgrade here. Definitely. So, funnily enough, I'm actually going to hold off on buying upgrades for when I- now that I have the opportunity. Despite all my... <laughs> criticisms earlier. Uh, computer that could autonomously observe and record data. The scientists achieve their aim with the development of Orca, also known as the Omniscient Recording Computer of Alterna. I never would have expected the bad guys to be... Um... Shiver and Fry on Deep Cut, you know? It's quite interesting. It's also, you know... A bit weird that we can just... Go back up and watch their, like, broadcast and walk up to the window and be like, Oh, it's you. You assholes who are attacking me down in the story mode. What do you think you're doing? Also, I'm realizing now... We can just leave at any time. We don't technically need to build something to get out. So goodness knows what we're going to build. But. Yeah, like. Um, that's interesting that they're the bad guys and that straight up they're fighting us, but I don't think they're allied with the whatever's causing the fur stuff. So it's just kind of weird that they're fighting us as bosses, despite not having anything to do with what's going on around here. Like, I don't know, it's just, it's interesting. Oh, there was another smaller one here that I didn't get. Quickly grab that one. What does this lead to? Just around over here. Okie doke. No cutscenes for... ...getting to the next area. Okie dokie. Let's go. Alright, let's see what we can find out at the next site. There's the thinker. I just hope Gramps is safe wherever he is. Cryogenic Hope Town. That was a much shorter one <laughs> than the last one. Watch out, it's all slippery over there. Oh goodness, it's an ice area. Don't know if that'll translate to the levels or not. Between the fake snow and lack of Gramps' signal, it seems like nothing is chilling here. Between the fake snow. Betwe between the fake snow and lack of Gramps' signal. So, yeah, okay. This is fake snow. Oh, I guess it makes sense. They made it. The humans made it while they were down here. I was like, oh, there are two things at the end. Well, yeah, because this is where the, the split path comes in. I don't know if there's... That's probably what the stuff I could see in the distance was. I don't know if there's a boss. No, because there's no strong signal here, so there's no boss. So that's how I can tell if there's going to be a boss at the end of the area, is if there's a strong signal. Well, we should investigate just in case. We'll follow your lead, Agent 3. Watch your step. Yeah, so, Site... Site 4 has a strong signal. Site 5 does not. Site 6 does. 
So two, four, six have bosses, I guess. So maybe there aren't a lot of bosses. I don't know. I don't mean I don't want to look at the, any more spoilery YouTube thumbnails to figure out what the bosses are or anything. But it's kind of disappointing if there's only like three bosses. I would assume maybe. Well, yeah, because so it's like that was Fry. So the next one will probably be like Shiver. And then the last one will be like Big Man. Or, and it, it could be interchangeable. The next one could be Big Man and the last one could be Shiver. And then it'll be whatever the final boss is, I guess. Hmm. So at minimum, I would think maybe like four bosses, if not three because of this. <sighs> I was kind of hoping for more bosses though. Although I guess there weren't really too many bosses in the previous games, were there? Oh well. We'll see, I suppose. We'll expect at least four and be disappointed if there's... Well, not be too disappointed if there's not more, but pleasantly surprised if there is. Let's get this real quick. It's right here. Well, this is certainly going to be a fun area. <laughs> there are two more pipes way back there. There's two ways to go. Alright, what do you want, little buddy? Eggs. Alright, well, let's open this up so I can super jump back to it easy. And then we'll call, an call it an episode there. Let's go! Not yet. Climbing the corporate splatter. Take down Octarians and climb to the goal. Three weapons. But we'll save that for next time. There's a bunch of conveyor, like, jump ramps over there. Lots of interesting things for next time. So, thank you for watching. We have finally got to do a boss, and it was quite good. So, next time we'll begin exploring Site 3. I suppose I'll try to start saying Site now instead of World, because it's more accurate. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Bye.